Hey there, we're Maria, Jose, and Chase. And this week, we intended to kick back, drink some coffee, and unwind while we were tucked away deep within the Pisgah National Forest with our dogs, Pablo and Jake. But then, we bought a generator and needed to tear our sofa apart to find a way to store it. And if that wasn't enough of a mess, I decided it was time to clean our composting toilet as well. Friends, we made it to home for the night, which is Cracker Barrel. <laughs> this is the reality of van and bus life. And I guess if you live in an RV, it's the same as well. You don't get to park in the most beautiful places all the time. We sleep in a lot of Walmarts, a lot of rest stops, and a lot of random places. We made it to Asheville, and we decided to stop in this vegan restaurant called Plan. We made an order to go, and now we're gonna enjoy here in the van. It was a really, really cute place on the inside, so I hope the food's delicious, but we just didn't feel comfortable eating inside with current events. We took your recommendations and decided we were going to move into the Biltmore Mansion. But when we got to the parking lot, we realized we weren't the only ones with this brilliant idea. Good morning. Good morning, Jane. <laughs> what are you doing? Subserving. Where are you guys going without me? We are now headed to Biltmore. We're gonna do some wine tasting and probably just move in. I think the house is big enough that nobody would even notice. The Biltmore Mansion is worth seeing at least once, we think. But we advise you spend the majority of your trip outside of the home and walk the many trails surrounding the estate. Babe, what? tell me about it. We ask all of you on Instagram, what should we do in North Carolina? And a lot of people, surprisingly, recommended to visit Buildmore. And it was my first time. Chase was here when he was young. And he was like, you know what? It's kind of expensive, but I think it's something that you should do. And I'm so, so happy that we came because I had a great time. We normally don't do like touristy type of things, but it was pretty, it was a lot of fun. We walk around, Chase and I were talking, the house, amazing, beautiful. But for me, it was like the rest. My favorite part was the rest. Like then we came here to the wine tasting. I had a great time. But now we're heading up into the National Forest. So I think I found a pretty good dispersed camping spot that we can stay for two weeks at a time. Obviously I stay there for two weeks, but we can stay there and stretch our legs for a little bit. So it's about 40 or 50 minutes away from here. So we've got to go. Well, let's go. Friends, we have made it to the National Forest. And this is a free land where you can park 
14 days at the time. You also have to follow the signs that are around that let you know where you're able to disperse camp, <laughs> which mean free camping. Um, we found great service, a spot where it's just us and it's kind of chilly. It's beautiful. Look at this sunset. It's a soup and sandwich type of night. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Buen provecho. Baby, how's your shower going? Oh my god, incredible. Could describe it, probably. So, next van build, no shower, right? If you don't put a shower in the next van, you're insane. <laughs> so we figured while we were here, it's a good time to uh, warm up some water and take a shower. And uh, we're gonna call it a night shortly. Well, I guess before too long. I'm up next on the shower. You need it. I washed my hair this morning. In the sink. In the sink. You guys are coming along on a shower with me. We use water conservatively. So we have this little valve up here that we turn on and off while we shower. We just kind of lather up and then rinse down. Works out pretty well. And now it's time to uh, to dry off with our really cool microfiber towels. Babe, can you hand me mine? Yep. Thank you. Microfibers are really nice in this environment because they soak up a lot of water and they dry super quickly. And one thing you may not have noticed is that we installed a little clothesline in here so we can hang things to dry. All of the towels and the clothesline, we've got them linked down below through our Amazon affiliate link as well as on our Amazon shop. Doesn't cost you anything extra to click on them and check them out. And if you decide to buy something, we'll get a little commission on it. It helps in a small way keep us on the road a lot of times it's kind of hard to show you how we put the bed down because, of course, I have tons of pillows. So we're always moving the pillows, but I love my pillows. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put our Murphy bed down without all the pillows. First, we have to remove this table. We just put the table down here on the step night with the leg unlock the bed and now we just pull the bed down I'm ready for bed As we said it in the video, a lot of people has asked us like, oh, does a Murphy bed just take a bunch of storage space, blah, 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 blah. Maybe, but we decided to build something behind the Murphy bed. That way we can store things away, like our pills and comforter. And we put that right here. Pillow, pillow big comforter now we're ready for bed good morning friends it was so quiet here all night and we got so cold it got to like 32 degrees it's the coolest it has been since we left upper peninsula michigan of course, you know your boy right here. He had to kick that heater to 80 degrees in here. I just kept it on its low setting. Truthfully, that thing just is it's mind blowing. I know I get very hot in the middle of the night, but it's great right now. Five more minutes. Yeah, okay, flip it off. So we were just having a minor discussion on we should do something today. And honestly, I think we've been going, going, going. So the consensus is. It's cold outside. It feels good to be in the middle of nowhere and finally like sit down, relax and like not have any plans for the day. So I think today it's going to be a day to enjoy here in the woods. I'm going to be editing the video and eating, snacking 
and just spending some time together. So if you want a very relaxed day in the middle of nowhere, this is the place to be. The boss just said we're getting things done today, stationary, not going out and doing anything, just unwinding before the hustle and the bustle of the next week of adventures. Friends, quick change of plans. I know we said we were gonna stay here, but we check our batteries with the app that we use. And we're underneath the shadow. There's not a lot of sun coming in. Our batteries are pretty low and we need some groceries anyway. So we decided to just, we're gonna go and get some groceries and come back this way. To level up. It's late at night. Rosie's putting the blocks down. Is that it? <sighs> Stressful is the least that I can say about today. I started my day wanting to just spend the day here in the van, enjoy myself, edit some video, eating, just relaxing with the dogs, and well, it ended being all the opposite. It was too stressful to even record. We left you going to town so that way we could charge while we drive. But there was no sun. The batteries were so dead that the alternator isolator that charges our batteries while we're driving would not charge them because they were so dead. So we were like, we really don't know what to do. We thought, well, let's just like book a campground. That way we can connect to their short power and just, you know, like charge the batteries full. And that way, like tomorrow, whatever we drive and all that, it will help charging. If there's sun, cool, but it will help us start fresh. Every single campground that we check here in Asheville is taken. There was no availability anywhere. Last resource, which was something that we talked from the beginning that we should have just in case, was a generator. It's not a secret for you or for us that the rain follow us and cloudy weather is just all around us and well, if you didn't know, we need sun to power our batteries. In emergency cases, we will have a small generator. So, well, we decided to just stop and buy it you know instead of letting all our food that we bought get ruined we bought a generator we're back at the spot where we parked yesterday i just need to just like sit down and relax for a moment Buen provecho, Bobo. Good morning, friends. We've uh, woken up, eaten breakfast, came up with absolutely no plan on what to do today besides uh, try and find a spot underneath our sofa for the generator. Basically, I'm thinking what we're gonna do is remove an arm, not really an arm, but we're gonna remove uh, one of the two by twos that we have kind of sectioning off certain parts of the seat here uh, to see if we can nestle the generator down between them. Not totally sure how it's gonna work out. It's gonna be a trial and error type thing, but uh, that is the plan. Jump. So we're getting about 33 volts and uh, barely any amperage coming in. Uh, I think the best that I've seen today is about 1.2 to 1.3 amps because obviously we're at elevation, the time of year, we're in the mountains, and all of the trees back here are, uh, are blocking the sun. So we're gonna be in places like this pretty regularly, and uh, it just made sense for us to have the generator as well. So this is what the generator looks like. I'm standing right here beside it, and you can probably still hear me pretty well. 
You can pick one of these up for about $500 from Harbor Freight. I'm not going to go into details about the generator. You can mix and match and compare um, one type of generator to another. Um, we used a Predator 3500 in the bus and uh, it was actually a little bit quieter, um, surprisingly, but it worked so well. The moment of the truth. Let's see if that baby fits in there. Big home. I don't know. What's the current situation back here, babe? It's a mess. The van, the whole van is a mess. But, but, but look. it fit. Now we just don't have a sofa. What are you talking about? Let me see that. Wow, it's like it meant to be there. Now I'm trying to play Tetris, putting everything back in here. Some of you have asked what we store under the sofa. So if you've ever been curious, well, now you know. Pretty much shoes, just stuff that we don't really use often. Chase is cleaning our toilet which is so sweet of him i'm in charge of the pee which he hates and he's in charge of the poop which he says he doesn't mind so that's a win-win for me everybody how's your experience with cleaning the toilet it's uh it's definitely hands-on i will tell you that um the compost so basically your poo um it just smells like dirt it's it's fantastic so uh, but obviously still glove up and it gives us a good opportunity to clean uh, all the other little nooks and crannies. But uh, we use compostable bags uh, to, to put our compost in. Um, so we do feel that much better about, um, about disposing of it um, when we find, you know, a place that, that we can drop it off. It's just, I guess, like picking up doggy poo poo and throw it in the trash. But uh, it's fairly clean, fairly straightforward process and absolutely no smell. These are the compostable bags, so. We got them from Amazon, no? Yeah, we did. It's, uh, it's really nice. So, this is what they go into. I've already got one with all the compost in it, so. After picking up everything and fixing whatever we needed to fix and make that generator work, I think it's time to leave this spot. We have been in here for quite a while, quite a while, it's just two days, <laughs> but we're ready to head somewhere that is not Asheville anymore. Let's head somewhere warmer. We're in the Pisgah National Forest. That's where we have been. There's a lot of trails for hiking around here and there's quite a bit of cars coming this way. We also found out that these used to be Bill Moore's land. Yeah, Bill Moore State's land. And they sold it. The plan was just only drive to the top, turn around and leave because it's about to get dark. But I had the great idea to actually do Douglas Falls. Supposedly, we search online and it's half a mile hike. If it's not half a mile a hike, we will turn around and come back. So we're not hiking in the dark with the dogs. Are you not glad we came? I'm always glad we came. Despite not wanting to, to go from the beginning. I'm so excited we came. This is all I needed after yesterday. Yesterday was so stressful. Today was kind of stressful too. But... Yeah, but, whoa, do you hear that? I think one of them just flushed off. <laughs> the, the icicles on the side of the rock up here keep falling off and, uh, just... And they're like jammed into the ground standing straight up. That's crazy. So if you come up here around this time of year, be very careful around the falls because those will kill you. Yeah, let's go. We have to head it back. We 
made pretty good time, huh? Yeah, we did. Sunset time. Let's get on the road. I started sneezing while we were in the hike. And now, I feel like someone hit me in the face. Right after the hike. There's something is making me sick. Just during the hike, actually, you started sneezing. Yeah, and I really don't know what could be making me sick. I'm allergic to something, for sure. Something out here. So, well, we decided to just come down the mountain and stop at, oh my goodness, Paco. Stop at Cracker Barrel and spend the night here and maybe wake up early tomorrow to head somewhere. I was planning on cooking a delicious meal for Chase, but because I'm feeling so bad, he offered to cook, which I think is very sweet of him. We finished the night off with a mushroom pasta and kicked off into bed. We'll leave you here and pick back up next Saturday. Travel often, friends. Wow, thanks, babe. You're welcome.